What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that rank double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, check out this amazing team that we have for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a weakness policy Mammoth Swine team alongside with Pixie Plate Tapu Lele. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. And recently, I've been checking my analytics. About 50% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's one of you guys, make sure you guys scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button. It really does go a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. But getting started, in that top left corner, we have Dragapult on this team. Dragapult is here just to be a support mon. He has clear body as his ability, Citrus Berry as his item. Breaking Swipe for Stab and Attack Drop, will o Wisp for Burns, Surf to proc the Policy on the Mammoth Swine, and Ally Switch to protect Ally Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be Tapu Lele with that Pixie Plate and Psychic Surge ability. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon because I never really use this item on a Tapu Lele. But Pixie Plate, if you guys do not know what that does, it gives a 20% boost to Fairy Moves. So we got two Fairy Moves with Dazzle and Gleam and Moon Blast. They're going to be able to do big stab damage and get after it on battle. This Pokemon also has Taunt for Support Mons and Psychic for our final stab move. Middle left is going to be Regilecki with the Transistor ability and Magnet item. You can't go wrong with this Pokemon on any team. He's just great all around. Extreme Speed, E-Web for Speed Control, Protect, and Thunderbolt for Stab is his moveset. Right next to him is going to be another Pokemon that you can legit bring in on any team and it's going to dominate. We got Urshfu over here, the Fighting and Dark type with Choice Band as his item, Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects, and then Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, and Poison Jab for his moveset. Bottom left is going to be another support mon for this team. That is going to be Whimsicott, Prankster ability, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. We got Helping Hand to help Ally Pokemon do more damage. Absorb to actually proc the policy on Mammoth Swine so we have two options with the Surf and the Absorb. And then we have Tailwind to set up our team for speed and Moon Blast for stab. Final Pokemon on the team is going to be the Heart and Soul. That is going to be Mammoth Swine. This Pokemon is going to carry us to victory in every single battle. Well, at least hopefully I think that. Weakness policy as his item, Thick Fat is his ability, and then Protect, Iron Head, EQ and Icicle Crash for stab. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this weakness policy Mammoth Swine and Pixie Plate Tapu Lele team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for a win in battle number one. We're going up against a Venusaur Torkoal Drought team alongside with Porygon 2 for Trick Room, Regilecki, he has Intimidate Landorus, and then he has Urshavu as his final Pokemon. I'm thinking I want to get after this a battle with a Mammoth Swine. It's just a great all-around Pokemon. I might want a proc policy, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go Mammoth Swine, and if I'm going to proc policy, I think I'd rather go in with this Whimsicott. But the only problem I have with this Mammoth Swine now is he's not oblivious, so Intimidates will affect him. So I definitely got to watch out for that. But I'm going to lead the Whimsicott over the... Uh, the Dragapult, just in case we need speed, say he leads the Venusaur and Torkoal, we're going to want some speed on this team, and we can uh, switch out the Drought for uh, some Hail. So that can work out really, really well for us. Next Pokemon is I'm going to bring is going to be Top of Lele. Definitely want this Pokemon on my team, and then the final one is going to be Urshfu with that Choice Band in the back end. But guys, I was thinking recently, and this is going to lead me to question of the day, but how do you guys think the online mode for Diamond and Pearl Remix are going to be? Because I was honestly thinking recently, I was just working, thoughts were going through my mind and i was just like dude how are you gonna top this online mode this online mode has so many pokemon in it like what, what are we up to like 600 pokemon in here so let me know in the comment section down below how you guys think the online mode for brilliant diamond and shining pearl is going to be compared to this one right here is it going to be better is it going to be worse is it going to be solid enough for everybody to switch over and play on that game let me know in the comments down below but he is going to lead the venusaur and this uh porygon so i don't even think he might just go for a Trick Room. I'm not going to go for a Tailwind. I am just going to go for an Icicle Crash here. Actually, let's Dynamax. Just in case he does swap into the Torkoal. I am going to end up Dynamaxing and going for a Hailstorm. And just change this weather on this thing. And I'm just going to Absorb and Proc Policy. Absorb. A lovely little Absorb. Just in case he does swap. I don't want to set off a Tailwind just now in case he Trick Rooms. So we'll see what he does. He might swap. He might do a lovely little swap. He's not going to swap, so I think he's just going to drop a Trick Room, and he might actually end up protecting that Venusaur. Let's just see what he does. Let's see this dude's play. I think he's going to Trick Room. Maybe Trick Room Protect. Let's see what this guy does. Or he could be going for a Sleep Powder. You never know. You never know. Let's see this guy's play. Absorb's going to come out here. Give me my Policy. Give me my policy. Let me go plus one attack. Let me dump on this Venusaur. 
Though it is good, the Venusaur is not protecting. So he should be gone, no problem here. Yeah, get him out of my game. Get him out of here. And there's no way this thing's Focus Ash. And if it is, Buffett's is going to take it out. But I hope it's not, just so he can't like do like Sleep Powder and all that. Good. He's not. Get him out of my game. Um, I can definitely see a uh, Trick Room happening here. Right? He's got to go for a Trick Room. Let's see what he does here. Trick Room popping. Ice Beam. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm with that turn. I'm with this turn one. We get rid of Venusaur, and he's going to bring down my Wimscott to Sash. Which the uh, Wimscott is going to go down to uh, Buffett's. Which kind of stinks. Which kind of stinks, considering I set the Buffets on that one. He might bring out Torkoal. If he does, I'm just going to send another Hailstorm just to change up the weather. Because I cannot deal with that. I cannot deal with that. Uh, I think Urshfu definitely has to come out here. 100% Urshfu has to come out here. Considering he has this Porygon and I can just close combat onto it and do some big damage. And if he brings out the Torkoal, I know we're going to be able to outspeed and dump on it with Quake. So he's going to end up bringing out the Torkoal. Okay, so I'm just going to drop Quake onto it. And I'm going to close combat onto the Porygon 2 slot. This battle is looking really good in our favor. I really do want to change up the weather, but a Quake is just going to take it out. So give me no reason not to. Unless he's looking for a hard swap. So let me see what other Pokemon he has. The only Pokemon who can dodge this is going to be that Landorus. Which I could see him having in as a back end Pokemon. Or it could be Urshfu. But I think we are going to be safe to go into this. And then just drop a big old close combat with Choice Band, Stab, and Super Effective onto this Porygon too. But I think this one's pretty much wrapped up. I think we have two one shots here and we're just going to call it a game. Let's see. Unless he protects. Hopefully he protects the Porygon and we just close combat through it. <laughs> Let's see how this one plays out. And a big part of this Dynamax turn is we're going to get a special defense boost up against two special attackers. That was just huge. Close combat flies through. Is this going to KO it? It is, dude. It is over. It's this game's over. Wrap it up. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. We get a crit alongside with that, too. Big damage. I think we were taken out regardless. But this dude's done. This dude is done for. He's done for. Don't mess with my Mammoth Swarm. Don't mess with Manny the Mammoth out here. Big old Quake coming through here. Hey, yo, Torkoal. Get out of my game. Get him out of here. We're going to have a dominant battle in battle number one. And it's going to be rather quick. We legit just proc policy. One tap the Venusaur. He took out my uh, Wimscott. And we one tap the Porygon, too. One tap the Torkoal. And now it comes down to a 1v3 with my Mammoth Swine proc and my Choice Band ready to rock out with this close combat. Urshfu was his final Pokemon, so what I thought it was, which is awesome. And we're going to end up dropping a... I could Hailstorm. Do I Hailstorm? Yeah, Hailstorm is probably our best bet. Stab and get some weather going for us. And close combat is going to drop through here and finish up this battle. Let's see. He just cancels it. And a quick first battle. What was it? Two turns? Two turn first battle? Let's get after it, guys. Well, guys, this is awkward. We're going up against the exact same team. So this one's going to be a fun one. Hopefully, we can pick ourselves up a win in battle number two here. We crush it in battle number one, but who should I lead and how should I play this one? I feel like Wimscott has got to be a lead here considering if he goes Wimscott, we're going to want speed. So Wimscott definitely coming out here. I think we go Mamoswine. I think we go Mamoswine. He's talking protect on him, right? I believe so. He is. Okay, so we're going to go in with that same lead. Same lead. I might just bring that same team. The same team just looks dominant. It's just the best all around. Because we're not going to need Dragapult if we have Wimscott. And Regilecki's not going to be too, too good. Considering Mamoswine is going to be the big part of the team. So I think we should be fine here with the same squad. We're going to rock out with it. We're going to get after it. And look for a win in battle number two. Trying to go back to back. And it's going to be even better considering this is a mirror matchup. It's always fun going up against a mirror matchup. Because you know what they have. And they know what you have. So it's like, it's weird. It is weird. You can't explain it until you actually go up against it. But let's see who he leads. Is he going to go in with the same lead or is he going to go Dragapult? Let's see. Who you got? He's going to go in with the same lead. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. All right. So what should my play be? I think we're going to go Dynamax for Dynamax. It's just going to be a speed tie. It's going to be a speed tie. Unless he tailwinds and I don't tailwind. But I think proc and policy is going to be best bet. Right? I think proc and policy is going to be best bet. And who do I go after is the real question. Who do I go after is the real question. We know he's sashed. I think I take out his Whimsicott. I'm going to take out his Whimsicott. That is my play. We're going to take out his Whimsicott. No problem here. I maybe should have uh, just Tailwind first turn. But I think we should be fine. Unless he goes after my Whimsicott. He wins the speed tie. Are you kidding me? Unless he's Tailwind me. 
He's gonna win the speed tie because Dynamax went out first. That is nuts. Hate this game. So right now we're losing to RNG. We are losing to RNG because again, we're exact same speed, so it comes down to RNG. So he Dynamaxes. Young Jeans is gonna Dynamax here. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. But yo, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, go check it out. We used a banger of a team. It was Lucario, Garchomp, and Charizard all on the team. With choice specs top with lane. Like, what more could you guys ask for? That team is amazing. Definitely go check out that video. Smash that like button over there. And watch it up. And maybe rent the team. The team is really cool. He's going to end up tailwinding. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. He tailwinds. And we are going to take out his uh, Wimscott. Is he going to take out my Wimscott? Okay, so we're going to go Wimscott for Wimscott here. That is fair. But he's going to have speed. But I'm going to have policy. I'm going to have policy here. That's totally fine by me. So, that's the trade-off here. I have policy. He doesn't have policy. But he has speed. Let's see how this one pays off. Oh, wait a minute. We get HP back. We're going to be able to get off a Tailwind. I forgot. Absorb gives us HP. Gotta love it. Huge turn for us. Yo, huge turn for us. We take some HP, so we're going to be able to survive this Buffet turn. His Wimscott's going to go down here, and we're going to start taking speed advantage. Well, we're going to at least tie up the speed, and then last turn, we're going to have speed advantage. That is huge. That is huge for us. You got to love it. You got to love it. I totally forgot. Absorb, clutch it up. That is enormous. I wish I would have, like, thought that in my head, because that would have been a huge play call. Like, yeah, we're just going to absorb. If he goes after my Wimscott, we're totally fine. Dude, I totally forgot about it. But we get that HP. Now we're rocking out. We're looking really good here. Um... We might have Lando. We're definitely going to Tailwind here. And do I Quake? I'm thinking of just Steel Spiking. I don't know. I don't want to proc his policy. Uh, instead of... I'm just going to Hailstorm. He does have Protect. But I don't want him swapping into Lando. So I'm just going to go into here. He might be trying to bait the Quake. I don't want him baiting the Quake. So I'm just going to drop the Hailstorm instead in case of the swap. In case of the swap. You gonna swap? No swap comes out here. And we're still gonna should be able to take out this uh this Reg Lucky, no problem. Here goes my tailwind. He's gonna be able to go for a Thunderbolt here. And he's going to get after my uh my what's it called? He's gonna get after my mammoth spike. Maybe with a steel spike. Let's see his play. We got speed, which is awesome. So we can get rid of you. Hey yo, get out my face, Reg Lucky. Get him out of here. Get that dang Pokemon out of my face. We know he's rocking extreme speed, and I don't want him really hitting hard on my opposing Pokemon. Steel Spike is going to come through here, and I think we should be able to eat this up, right? We do. We do, which is lovely. Which is lovely. He gets a crit. Get out of my face. Get this dude out of my face. So, we have one more Dynamax turn. I could go Urshfu. Urshfu is looking real good. He's looking real good here. Urshfu is out here. I am going to drop a close combat onto him. And he's going to bring out Lele. Lele is looking scary, but... Who's going to outspeed is the real question. I could go after Lele instead. I can't go for a Sucker Punch, I know that. And Lele doesn't have Protect. But we know that the Lele does not have Protect. I could just go for a Poison Dab. Hmm. I could go for a Poison Dab, or I can go for a Close Combat. Um, I have Lele, so I can actually check speeds here. I can actually check speeds, which is huge. But Lele's speed is going to be 147. What is Mammoth Swine at? 132. So Lele does outspeed the Mammoth Swine. That's tough news. Um, I could protect. What do I want to do here? Do we think Poison Jab is going to be able to pick up KO? I think we're definitely going to take this shot at it. And let's just guard. Let's just guard Mammoth Swine so we get off another turn with him. We are guarding our lovely little Mammoth Swine. And Poison Jab is going to fly through here. Get after it. Let's get after it. Take him out. Let's go. Big Poison Jab coming out from him. That's totally fine. I think he's going to come after my Mammoth Swine with his Mammoth Swine. Yep. And he wants the Lady to pick up the kill. So we are just outplaying him at this point. So now we are fast at him because his Tailwind's going to end, right? Or does he have one more turn? Either way, that was a huge turn for us because I can close combat and take out Mammoth Swine, no problem. This might be his final Pokemon, right? I think it is. Because we took out the Regilecki. The Wimps caught, yeah, and the top of Lele. Oh, we are sitting in the driver's seat. We are sitting in a driver's seat. Oh, we can only go into a poison jab now. Let's go do that, and I guess we'll try to get off an iron head. Again, we still have Lele in the back, so we're sitting really good here. 
Poison jab comes through here. Can we get a lovely little poison? Can we get that poison on him? We do not. Iron Head gets that out speed and gonna take him out. GG's awesome battle right there. Yo, we played that one so well. That's why I always like going up against mirror matchups because it makes you think a little bit more and makes you have to outplay your opponent really, really well. Looking for that perfect record in battle number three. We still haven't shown off the Tapu Lele, even though we brought him in the past two battles. So I definitely want to bring in that Pokemon and get him in this battle. But we're going up against a Galarian Moltres team alongside with Lapras, Whimsicott, Grimstar, Landorus for Intimidate Drops, and Alola Ninetales for that Aurora Bell. So he has two Pokemon that can set Aurora Bell. Um, I kind of want to bring in, I might actually lead the Lele. I might lead the Lele as much as I said I didn't want to. But you know, we're going to go here, here. I definitely want Lele, and I think we're going to bring Regilecki over Urshfu. We could go same squad again. That could be nasty, but we already showed it off in the past two battles. We already showed it off in the past two battles. I'm going to end up bringing Regilecki over to Urshfu, even though I really want to bring in that Urshfu. I think we should be fine here. I think we should be good with this squad. We didn't get to show off the Dragapult and Mamoswine combo just because the only time I would really bring him in over to Wimscott is when speed is not really a factor. Like he has Wimscott, so I definitely got to bring in my Wimscott as well. So say he didn't have a Wimscott or a Tailwind Pokemon, or if he had a Trick Room team, then my Dragapult would be the Pokemon to come in here. Or if we know he's going to lead some big physical attackers that we can throw burns on. So he's going to throw out the Wimscott and Lander. So big turn for him. He's going to be able to do that. Um, I can't Tailwind. Uh, what can I do from here as well? I definitely want a Tailwind. I don't think I'm going to Dynamax. I don't think I am going to Dynamax. Hmm. Let's just go for that Icicle Crash. Because if we land that, that's big damage, right? Let's go Tailwind. Let's go for that Icicle Crash. Try to get it on this Lando. This lovely little Lander. So we actually might Dynamax. This could be a tough turn. This could be a tough turn for us. If he Dynamaxes, I think, I think he just dumps all my Mammoth Spine, right? Let's see, he's gonna, what's he gonna do with it? What is your plan? And I was gonna lead the Lele. I was really thinking of leading the Lele. Just gonna withdraw the landers. We're gonna go for an ice move here. And he's gonna bring out Lapras. So smart little swap by him. He's gonna be able to do that. And I think we're gonna go Tailwind for Tailwind, or he might proc policy. So there goes our Tailwind. And a Taunt is going to fly through. Smart Buttery Biscuit. Okay. I still Crash gonna pop. And we missed it anyway, so. Lucky for him. Lucky, lucky dot. Um, we do have thick fat right here. Half damage from ice and fire. I could proc policy and try to roll from there. Or I can just swap. What do I want to do here? I'm going to proc policy. I could steal swike. I could quake. I think I just get rid of this Wimscott. Yeah, we're going to Dynamax Mamoswine again. Let's try to get this lovely little Mammoth Swine Dynamax again. I think he's going to Dynamax the Lapras here as well. And maybe he goes for an Ice Move on me. We have that Thick Bat. That lovely Thick Bat. That beautiful Thick Bat. Maybe he goes for a Resonance on over onto uh, Wimscott. If he does, Wimscott is going to go down because I have Buffets going on to it. But that was a huge Intimidate by him. But luckily, we actually are policy. He's just going to Tailwind. He's not going to Dynamax. I do like that. I do dig that turn. He's just going to drop the tail when Absorb is going to come out here. And now we are plus one on attack. Instead of being plus two, because he already minus one us. So if he comes out here, we're just going to be normal Mammoth Swine, which I can still deal with. Which I can definitely still deal with. That's what I'm going to fly through here. We're going to say Wimscott, get out of my face. But that is always a huge turn. Say if uh, I Tailwind, he, he has the advantage right now, in my opinion. Because say I Tailwind, and then he can waste a turn and then Tailwind after me. Eventually, he's going to have a faster turn than me. So that's going to come back to bite me. We try flies through, and Wimscott is going to go down here to Buffets, I think. Right? Yeah, all day. All day. Bye, Wimscott. Double Wimscots are going to go down. They're both sashed. Actually, my Wimscott is now Ice-type. <laughs> Could you imagine? He just turned into Ice-type so we could eat that up. <laughs> I just gave him a safety goggles real quick. <laughs> um, next Pokemon we're going to bring out here. I think we're just going to bring out Regilecki. Just pose that threat to Lapras and make sure he doesn't Dynamax. And if he goes into Lando, then I can just, uh, then I can just drop a Hailstorm onto him. Because I think he is going to go into that Lando. No, Moltres? Oh, yes, sir. No, you're going to have to swap somebody. You're going to have to swap somebody. We're going to start taking speed control. We're going to E-Web all around here. And who do I take out? I think he would Dynamax the, uh, the Moltres or swap the Moltres more than anything, right? 
Now let him drop the Hailstorm over there in case he swaps for Lando. Moltres is just going to protect. So smart little protect by him. E-Web is still going to come out to play. Which is going to be huge up against his Lapras. Oh no, we're just going to see a double protect. So yo, I dig it. I dig it. Because we still have one more turn left in Tailwind. So say we proc policy on, on this uh, Lapras over here. Or not Lapras, on this Moltres over here. We're still going to be able to E-Web slow down and be able to pick up KO. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Which is going to target down this Moltres slot. And that's huge damage. That is huge damage there. Actually, do we even target it down? Do we even target down this Moltres slot? Because an E-Web will take it out. An E-Web is by far going to take it out. There's no way he lands another Protect. So I'm just going to E-Web and target down the Slapper slot. Let's E-Web and get a Defense Boost now. Or I can just go for that Special Defense Boost. Yeah, let's go for Special Defense over on the Lapras. I don't see him swapping out Lapras. Let's see how this one. He might Dynamax Lapras. All I ask is he don't swap out Lapras because then we miss a Quake. And that's a huge waste of turn for us. So maybe I should have just went into the Steel Spike. Let's see his play. What are you going to do? Does he swap? He does not swap. He's going to end up Dynamaxing a Pokemon. And I'm hoping it's that Moltres. Because again, even if he Dynamaxes, this E Web should be able to take out still. Who is it going to be? It's going to be the Moltres. Yo, E-Web, clutch up for your boy. Do me a favor, E-Web. You're the fastest on the field right now. You are the fastest on the field. E-Web, do him dirty. E-Web comes out. Moltres, get out my game. Get him out of here, yo. Huge turn for us. That is going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. And your boy is going to pick up an amazing perfect record for you guys. That's easily game. Because Mamma Swine outspeeds. Take him out. We have Lele in the back. And this is crazy. This is just absurd to me that I brought in Lele all three battles and we didn't even get to use him. And we did not even get to use top of Lele. Unless he EQs here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I'm going to have that extreme speed on this thing. He can EQ and pick up a double KO. Right? He has speed on me. This is scary. <laughs> Hold up. This match ain't over yet. He's definitely rock rocking EQ. And that will kill my, my Regilecki easily. It might kill my Mamoswine easily as well. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm going to have the extreme speed on him just to do a little bit of damage. I can actually protect, which I'm probably going to do. Yeah, let's extreme speed and let's protect the Mamoswine. Let's protect the Mamoswine. Just in case he does go for an EQ. Nope, he just cancels the battle. So there it is. Perfect record with Mammoth Swine and dominated every single battle. I'm not even kidding when I say this. I think this Mammoth Swine setup is one of the strongest in the game right now. Did you guys see those three battles? We just led Mammoth Swine with the Whimscott, proc policy, and swept teams left and right. I really want to show off this Tapu Lele today, but I wasn't able to. But trust me, this Pokemon is really, really strong. Definitely rent this team for yourself and push high on the Master Ball tier ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.